Hello and welcome to the highlights and review of the Christmas Celebrity Special of The Great British Sewing Bee. Now to warn you, just in case you haven't had a chance to catch up on The Sewing Bee, this video is going to be full of spoilers. It's also going to feature some of my own tips and ideas for how to make the clothes, so I hope you'll enjoy it. In this edition, four celebrities tackle three sewing challenges. The first, the pattern challenge, is to make a pair of pyjama bottoms. The second, a Christmas themed outfit for dogs. And the final challenge, to make a dress to wear on Christmas Day. And like most celebrity special programs, there are a couple of people who I've never heard of, so just in case, here's a brief intro. Sarah is a comedian and TV host. She has basic sewing skills and has upcycled a jumper into a cushion for her dog. Ranjay is a TV medical doctor who's more experienced in stitching up people than stitching up clothes. But his mum is a seamstress, so he's probably picked up a few tips. Denise is a star of the West End Theatre District, as well as a TV presenter. Her grandmother was a dressmaker who taught her the basics in hand sewing. Finally, Shirley, who is a judge on Strictly Come Dancing, her only sewing experience has been embellishing her dance outfits. However, on a show like this, that may prove to be a huge advantage. For the first challenge, the pattern challenge, the contestants have two hours to construct a pair of festive pyjama bottoms. Sarah made a valiant effort adding a contrasting waistband and patch pocket to her PJ bottoms. She made a slight mistake earlier on when cutting out her main pieces, which cost her valuable time. As a result, she was unable to complete her PJs. She also sewed a far too generous seam allowance, which created what Patrick termed as a hungry bum. But I loved her fabric choice. Ranjay was clever in selecting a fine print which eliminated the need for pattern matching. He embellished his PJs with faux fur pom-poms and a lovely green gold drawstring ribbon. Sadly, he made a measuring mistake resulting in a rather ingenious patch up of the waistband. It was hardly noticeable, but the judges, in particular Esme, took a rather dim view of it. Denise opted for a Brussels sprout print fabric, which I wasn't so keen on, but it did illustrate her own fun, vibrant personality, which is justification enough. She also used a lovely green ribbon as a drawstring and decorated with a cuddly toy. Denise garnered high praise for her attachment of her waistband, which was done to near perfection. Using a red Christmas stocking themed fabric print, Shirley proved that she's a natural sewist with very accurate sewing skills. The inside of her waistband wasn't quite caught in all the way around, which probably cost her quite a few marks. Otherwise, these were a beautiful pair of pyjama bottoms. And so the results of the first challenge were, in reverse order, Sarah, fourth place, Ranjay, third place, Shirley, runner-up, with Denise winning the pattern challenge. This little treasure is called Sammy, and he introduced the next challenge, which is the transformation challenge. The contestants were asked to transform a basic dog jacket into a festive little number. The contestants were given free reign to use the vast array of decorations and embellishments the sewing room had to offer. transformation repurposed a straw basket which she used as a dog sleigh of sorts. She used various decorations to achieve her desired look. La, la, la. Ranjay's angel outfit was a simple but effective design 
lovely colour palette with the addition of a golden halo. Denise's dog jacket was embellished with a super dog hero cape and supplemented with reindeer style headdress and coordinating paw socks. Shirley's fun dog outfit was adorned with lots of bells sewn on embellishments, a cuddly toy and including a rather fetching sorry, face mask. The results of the transformation challenge are in fourth place Grand Jay with his angel outfit. Third came Denise with her superhero dog outfit. Runner up Sarah with Santa's little helper. And the winner Shirley with her jingle jangle outfit. The contestants were allotted four hours to create a Christmas dress for the final made to measure challenge. The fabric pieces were pre-cut for the contestants according to their model's measurements. Sarah opted for a lovely traditional festive red and green tassel fabric for her wrap-over dress with tie backs, flared sleeves and a full skirt. This out of the four made to measure outfits was, I felt, the most festive. By the way, the pattern Sarah used was Butterick's number 6554 option A. Rather than using a commercial pattern, Ranjay bravely designed his own. Embellished with rhinestones, the one off shoulder blue dress with wrap over skirt design was stunning. Unfortunately, the execution wasn't so. Again, Ranjay made crucial measuring mistakes, resulting in a dress that was almost indecent. Raj wanted to create a head-turning dress. His concept was for his model to visit her other half's parents for the first time, for her to walk in and all the family members to turn around and ask, Who's that? Well, the concept kind of worked, but for all the wrong reasons. Denise's design was my favourite, but I was a little disappointed with the resulting outfit. I liked the concept, a Christmas pudding dress with a full circle skirt, fitted bodice, embellished with cream, holly and berries. However, the embellishments didn't quite match the design. And that said, maybe with only four hours to make the dress, it would have looked perhaps a little too costumey rather than the simple and elegant dress that Denise wanted to make. I was also very disappointed that she opted out of adding the invisible zip and instead used Velcro. While the front looked great, the back looked quite awful. I couldn't quite make out which pattern Denise used. The closest I could find was Vogue pattern number V2902. My overall personal favourite was Shirley's, whose outfit was very well made. You would never know that this is the first dress that she's ever made. A beautiful red dress elegantly embellished at the waist with a fluted edge skirt and wrap over bodice. The pattern is a sleeveless version of Vogue number V8379 version A. The results of the made to measure challenge in reverse order are 4th place Ranjay, 3rd place Sarah, 2nd Shirley with Denise winning the overall competition. A Christmas pudding dress deemed the garment of the week. Did you watch the Christmas special of Sewing Bee? What did you think of the results? Please comment below and just to let you know, I will post the highlights and review of the New Year's special soon. So until then, Happy New Year and thanks for watching. Happy sewing!